So I always forget to do that. How are y'all? Hope y'all doing good. I low-key have a headache. <laughs> Not even low-key, I have a headache. So... You know, it's been a week. It really... Oof, girl. It's... It's been a week. It's... Let me just... Let the world know that anybody can join whenever they want. And I have actually gotten into reading quite a bit. I finished, I have, see all those books back there? I haven't read half of them. <laughs> They're all in my reading. I finally finished the Percy Jackson series right there. And I started on the sequel part, the Lost Trilogy. I mean, <laughs> I can't read The Lost Hero. <laughs> I really can't read. I really said that was trilogy. It's not even a trilogy. It's like five books, I think. Yeah, five. I can count. I can still count, though. It's all good. And I... Yeah. Maybe if Instagram, there we go, Instagram working with me. I. am just, yeah. So. Let me, let me tell the body. And. School. Mm -mm. School is just not it. <laughs> and it is been rough. planning on just um drawing today if photoshop will open okay there we go it opened and yeah hey viewer how are you, viewer? I'm gonna be drawing right now. I need to find some music so it's not so like empty. Well, I wasn't expecting a response, I'm gonna be honest. I am pretty okay. I, I have a slight headache and we're gonna try and fix that <laughs> with some drawing. <laughs> So, yeah. I'm going to be drawing, um, uh, where is it? Mikasa from Attack on Titan. So, yeah. I just told you. <laughs> uh, that sounded rude. I didn't mean that as a rude way. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, let's switch over to drawing. <laughs> 
I'm so like nervous now. I haven't had a viewer that actually responded before. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, well, there it is. I have to say, I low-key kind of don't like it, but thanks. <laughs> I'm just going to maybe fix it. I don't know. Maybe it's the pose. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow, so different. Uh, let's see. Maybe you'll talk about it. I don't know. It's just... Maybe it's the pose, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Oh wait, hold up. Hmm. Maybe the proportions. Like, I feel like this arm right here. <laughs> oh, I don't like the arm. Once you notice a mistake, it just gets worse. Um, let's group. Group. We'll just call it group one. And then we're gonna resize. So. Yeah, I feel like I've been staring at a screen forever, but all this online school stuff, it's a pain. <laughs> Form. Online school? Yeah. I heard it sucks. Yeah, it does, honestly. Uh, that's not what I want. Oh, that would be annoying. I don't want to do. It really does suck. But, you know, hope life will go on and we will try and survive <laughs> I'm picking up that layer do i want to just transform that area to scale no that's whack ow i don't know if that hurt your ears i'm sorry if it did let me just <gasps> anyway forward is yep <laughs> that's for sure uh let's try it this way let's do the line art that's not what i want but i always go there scale scale it small a little bit i know it's gonna totally mess up the color but I'm planning on doing. Let me see if I like this better. So let me just turn off the color. And just edit it from there. Why didn't I think about that? <laughs> oh, let's need to reselect it. I don't know if you're proficient in Photoshop, um, or even if you're an artist at all, but. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing, so. Why won't you let me transform? Maybe if I just. Nope, probably won't be. <laughs> That's nice. Do you like anime? Assuming you do. Oh, that's why. It's blooping. It's on the color layer. Of course, that's right. What, you're, what you've been keeping up with. Well, if you're gonna take your time to answer, I'm gonna answer that, my question. <laughs> Forgive me, the names will be butchered. That's a-okay. Um, I suck at names too. Any name. <laughs> Maybe if I just do that. No. No. 
I think I like that a little better. Hmm. Do I like that better? I don't know if I like that better. We're gonna roll with it. Wow, the arm totally. Oh yeah. I haven't started watching the second season, but I have um, seen the first season. I really thought it was, and, I, and I liked it. What I've been watching lately is Hunter Hunter. No spoilers. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what I've been watching lately is Hunter Hunter, and that's been pretty good. I don't know what episode I'm on, but it's been good so far. I also am keeping up with, or trying to keep up with at least, uh, with the new season of Attack on Titan. So, and, um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, man, there's a new season! <laughs> uh, the latest season, season four. It's pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know if you heard, but a lot of people are trashing on the animation because they changed studios and it's now being, um, instead of being done by Wit Studios, it's being done by MAPPA. And they're using CGI to cut down the cost and time and people don't like the CGI. I think it's pretty good. Sometimes you don't even notice it, but you know, people are people. Yeah, it really do, do, do be like that. People are always complaining about something. Okay. Let's see if I can fit this in. Okay, I think that's as best as I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> More. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I haven't seen One Piece, One Piece or Bleach. I have read the first volume of Bleach, or the first like three volumes of Bleach. And I have read the first volume of One Piece, and I want to start watching them. They're on my watch list. <laughs> oh god! These headphones keep scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm more tempted to watch One Piece simply because I like the idea, I like the first volume. For Bleach, I'm not so sure, simply because the fan base seem hard, well they're both of them seem really hardcore, but you know. And I'm a scared, anxious person. <laughs> From an issue. <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> Which is oh the ending is it bad? No spoilers. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, that's the wrong color. Is that? Oh, am I? I'm on color lock. I forgot about that. Um. I want to watch Soul, Soul Eater, but, but One Piece has another one, which is, I know, it's crazy, I, that's also why I haven't watched it yet, was because I'm waiting for it to finally finish. <laughs> Feels like it's never going to end. <laughs> good, yeah, I heard it's good, but a lot of people don't like the ending, I like, kind of already know about the ending. It's it's okay. I mean, I don't think it's like the worst ending ever, but I know a lot of people don't like it. It's gonna, it's on my watch. I have a long watch list. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> like so many anime. Not enough time to watch all the journey. Oh, uh, that's true. The journey is what matters rather than um, the ending. 
let me find a reference for Mikasa real quick. For colors. I know a lot of people I know have you have you watched Darling the Franks? I need a simple reference here. I remember people were like crazy over the ships. I was like, guys, let's chill. I didn't really like the ending to Darling the Franks, but it was okay. Kinda weird towards the end. <laughs> Crazy as mm. I don't I think it died down after uh it ended, but I remember I don't know if it's true, but I remember um that people were sending death threats to the author because um I don't remember her name. What is her name? Nichijiro? No, that's an anime. <laughs> I don't remember her name, but the blue haired girl got, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Rejected. It's kind of like the, uh, re zero in that sense where everybody was mad. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. I don't get why people send death threats to the authors. Like, why? I get that you're mad, but without the author, kind of wouldn't have happened, you know? The entire series. <laughs> like, and it's also like, it's not going to help anybody. Yeah, that's for sure. Why are you doing? There you go. That is very much true. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Like, I get that you love the fandom. I understand, like, it's amazing, but <laughs> there's some points where we need to calm down. <laughs> Take a little break, a chill pill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not the layer there. Just, just put you back on color lock. And then get that. Also, I just realized I forgot to add the little symbol to her jacket. I'll do that later. Make it a little lighter. Ooh, there we go. That looks good. I like it. Kind of looks like coffee. Not like dark coffee, but coffee. But yeah, it's. Fandoms are crazy. And the My Hero Academia fandom definitely is no different. Or no exception, I should say. Yeah. I like My Hero Academia too, so it's like, I read the manga and whatnot. And, um, it, I'm like, I really like My Hero Academia, but whenever it comes to the fandom, I'm like, they're kind of weird. <laughs> They're kind of crazy. They're so hypocritical sometimes. I'm like, bro. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is it really that dark? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Wow, it's not dark. Oh, 
I also think this, for My Hero Academia especially, I, f I think they forget this isn't a romance anime. This is like a shonen anime. <laughs> Not it's a little spice of romance, but you know, not the entire thing. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna try to. <laughs> that is impossible, next to impossible. Oh, you went over the lines. Why do you go over the lines? I think I can reach it a bit smaller. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil, but I, there's a moment in the manga and that Baku Deku fans were going crazy over, and I just could not see why. It's like, bro. There's nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I see where you're coming from with that. But I'll have to slightly disagree with um, the fights are short. I feel like some of them are definitely short. Like the uh, fight between da Bakugo and Deku, um, like that fight was short. But some of them were pretty long, like, um, what's his name? Chisaki and Deku, and then One for All and All Might. I feel like those aren't that short. I feel like those are pretty long. <laughs> but, yeah. I have to say, um, the filler arc from the last season with uh, Gentle Criminal, I liked a lot better in the anime than I did in the manga. I always found the manga, like, the manga arc of that pretty boring. <laughs> but in the anime, it was they made it more interesting. Whoa. Hold up. Okay. Maybe I should hold up. Oh dear. Let's. I was trying to open an app. You can see my wallpaper. <laughs> what a coincidence. Hey, computer. Why are you complaining? I forgot my headphones weren't connected, so we're just gonna take those off. Okay, I think it's done. Oh, my goodness, okay. Let's put that back over here. Okay. <laughs> totally am just omitting that. I was trying to open another program, but it just didn't like me. was just trying to show off my my hero academia wallpaper you know those like really those people how long have you I have been drawing since about five years um that's when I, like, five years at, like, that's uh, when I started getting serious into drawing. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> are you getting into drawing or something, or are you just here to watch a stream? Mm, 
Yeah. That's nice. How did you come across my stream? Say like random chance. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. I. I wouldn't say I recently started streaming. That's green. I wouldn't say I recently started streaming. Like, started streaming during December ish. It's when I started having a constant stream schedule ish. I wasn't able to stream that much this month. Why is it green? green? I don't like it. I don't want it to be that dark. I don't know. I have a YouTube channel and um, I wanted to get used to talking in front of a camera and um, and I'm sorry I accidentally clicked a button on my pen and I don't know it just seemed like fun and one of my friends uh, streamed a lot too so I was like that looks fun let me try that and it was a super easy process so <laughs> I just went ahead would have went ahead okay there okay do I not have color lock on Color lock. Oh, um, that's been messed up from the. Yeah, there you go. No. Am I crazy? That's weird. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't get many. I get normally like one ish viewer. I don't like how that's green. I'm not why is it green? I don't um I don't get many viewers who interact with me. Um I get like one viewer and they're always like not talking. <laughs> um but yeah. Cause I feel like I get that people are focusing on their art, but that looks a whole lot more brown on the screen. Sorry, I get distracted. Um <laughs> I, I get people are focusing on their art, which is great, but sometimes, you know, it's kind of awkward. But then so, some people go for that, you know, to have just somebody, to watch somebody go through the process, which I also, under <clears throat> which I also understand. <laughs> Normally I have my friends on with me too, so it's not like totally lonely, but... Today I kind of just started streaming because I felt like it. Okay, color lock, you're being weird. Go for that. Yeah, if you don't know, <laughs> you probably don't know, but I'm a little bit of an anxious person. It's just who I am. Do I like that color better? Yeah, I like that color better. So, I'm kind of like the quiet kid-ish. <laughs> I've grown more comfortable at my school with the people there, but I'm still sometimes pretty quiet. Hers? <laughs> yeah. Scarf is like a brown red, like a burgundy? I want to say it's a burgundy. A little, little redder. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 
yeah. So. I've been wanting to play music, but like it's hard to because then it's gonna get copyrighted and I'm like, I don't wanna get copyrighted. <laughs> I already had that happen in a stream where I it was like a Christmas uh, themed thing and um, this and I had uh, and I found like a playlist on YouTube that was like non copyrighted music and um, what was I gonna say it, it like one of the songs was got copyrighted on Twitch and I'll like ref I don't think it got copyrighted on YouTube though, because my uh, my stream on YouTube is still okay. Who knows? That's true. It is quite slow. Yeah, so what I do is I'll um, block it in within a color so I can turn on color lock. And what that means is that um, it'll like keep all the color within a shape. So um, for example, if we just go to her head here, I'll just use a random color. So it'll like keep it in the shape and it won't um, go outside that it's uh, easier whenever I'm doing the edges I don't have to be like I don't have to be like crunching my hand um, to uh, get the details I want or to not go over the lines do a dark brown Why is it all coming out? It's like brown. The green. It doesn't look brown to me. I mean, green. Oh, I don't remember what I was trying to say. Maybe I'll keep it this color. Silver. Hate when you do that. <laughs> Doesn't look right. Can you not? <laughs> oh, I was taking back that. I don't want that. Just close back up. <laughs> no. What did it mess with? And then what, it'll like erase if I do that, but it won't add like if I take the paintbrush, it won't take. The, it won't add the color. So yeah. Straps here. It's not about the same color. I guess 
this will just be there. I know a lot of people use the paint, uh, the paint bucket thing. And first off, I need to either fix the settings on that thing because it will like fill the area, but the area will have like a white line on it, and that's irritating. Or um, I suck at like closing lines. <laughs> Like here, that line is incomplete. <laughs> I don't have like clear structure of lines, which is, I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> so I just color in most of it. Yeah, right. I do traditional art too, but for my streams and whatnot. I mainly do digital. It's easier to stream with. Then, real quick, it's almost there. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I don't like that brush. I don't especially like that brush. I don't like that brush either. Where is my normal brush? Are you the normal? That's not the color, obviously. Not color block. Hmm. I'll roll with it. Hmm. Do her skin tone real quick. Dropper, best tool effort that is. Really white. Or pale, I should say. I stop painting with the brush I like. There. Mm 
Why is it coming on green? Why is, is this because the undercolor is like brown? That's weird. Maybe it's because of the early spasm it had. better. I'll change it later. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But normally it doesn't do that when I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm so weird if it did. This is a normal layer. It shouldn't be doing that. But yeah, maybe, <laughs> probably. <laughs> My eyes are deceiving me. That's kind of funny. In biomed, we've been learning about the eye, so that's always fun. Her little eyebrows. Yo. Yo. And we'll do the, what color are her eyes? What color are her eyes? Oh. The blurry picture does not help. So we got to talk about it. Yeah, my school is kind of a um, college prep school. So we get like, we have pathways that we can choose. I guess her eyes are like gray. That's kind of weird. I guess I never realized that. <laughs> Go <with> three. <laughs> That's right. I got. It. I'm a biomedical artist. Cooler. <laughs> also, we're not going to talk about the hand that's up here because we'll just ignore that. <laughs> that's how we got colored. I guess so, okay. Not talking about it, typing on the other hand. <laughs> I honestly suck at typing. Let's do this. Let's make this a little darker. Oh, that looks already better. Brown to it. <laughs> no, make the eyes. Whoa, that's trippy. I'll do the eyes later. And for the red, I'll do a little, a little dark red. Does that make any difference? Do it over here. Difference. 
Wow, it makes your face look grayer. That's weird. Uh, let me color in the white of her eyes. Looks no yeah, right? I'm gonna like put in the black ink. not do that because that makes her face look way too pale and then we need to bring a little color to that we'll do it no I don't like that color let's do like a semi dark no that looks ugly mm, too light Look like her. She has a red eye. <laughs> like pink eye or something. Mm. Okay. I'll settle for that. <laughs> right? So rude. Other than eating humanity. <laughs> okay, and then let's make a new layer. That'll be called Shadows. I can't spell shadow. Shadow. There we go. I think I'm done with coloring. That looks done enough. We shall add the shadows. Oh, let me stretch me arm. Me and then I just realized something I don't like this color and then we shall make it darker oh boom that looks a whole lot better like everything no I don't like that color Do I like it? No, I don't like it better. Okay. Next is Le Chateau. Okay. Start with these shadows. We'll make them a little dark. Offset. Some fancy, fancy stuff. Not really that fancy, but fancy. By the way, I have no concept of shadows. I'm um, just kind of guessing. <laughs> yes, yeah, all so fancy. Why are you so, I'm so weird? I'll just pretend. Like Some of these are a little messier, but that's because they're going to be changed. Hmm. Get a little subtle here. I was about to say. <laughs> I was, I was about to say, I don't know if this makes grammatical sense when I was talking, when I was thinking about the shadows. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if this makes grammatical I've been, I don't know if you're, uh, if you know that TikTok trend where, but they're using like the Grammarly ad sound where it's like, this sentence is grammatically correct. <laughs> I don't know why, that's been stuck in my head. looks ugly. Okay, let's just backtrack there. TikTok says it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
That doesn't look good. Yeah. They get a lot of songs stuck in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I remember um that like washing machine song. Not like an actual washing machine, but like we sailed away from China to China. Something, something, something. <laughs> It was that song. It was like an old song. I remember that. But like it started trending on TikTok. I'm never gonna break my. Yeah, that one! That's what I'm talking about. Never gonna break my song. Maybe I should just add that to my playlist and accept my doom. You keep on. You keep on. It's honestly low-key kind of a good song. Yes! I remember that one. But I honestly- I didn't like the original song, but I love the Japanese version of it. Uh, I probably mispronounced all those lyrics, but you know. Mm -hmm. By room in it. I think it's by room. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. I have it in my playlist. Oh my god, Spotify, I do not want your premium. <laughs> Where is it? Not here. Where are you? Or, um, I'm gonna totally mispronounce this. Uh, Yoa Sabai? That one's pretty good. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, the one in my playlist is by, uh, Rainichi? Rainichi? Yeah, that one. That's the one I have on my playlist. Mm hmm. It's just so catchy. No right to be so catchy, but it is. <laughs> I believe it. I have terrible time remembering names too. It's gonna take me at least like out a month. You know that song is Doja. Yeah, I know that. She like was like yes, <laughs> you know. So I recently finished Star Wars Rebels. I don't know if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, and it was honestly one of those moments where I kept on forgetting it was a kid show. Basically part of the nerd pack. That's right. My parents raised me to be a nerd of that kind of stuff, and then I became an anime nerd later on in life. <laughs> but um, I recently started finish. I, I recently finished Star Wars Rebels. I just it was like one of those moments where I forgot this was a kid show. Like this was meant for kids, and I'm over here sobbing. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> then my parents made fun of me for being emotionally attached to characters. 
I'm like, just leave me alone. It was sad. <laughs> and now I'm watching Clone Wars. <laughs> but because I do it. Clone Wars being like, yeah. I, I recently, I'm uh, starting Clone Wars and the battle bots, whatever they are, battle droids, has no right to be so funny sometimes. <laughs> Sir, some of their like comments are just so random and funny. I don't know why I just find them funny. <laughs> but I heard and I hope I don't know if you like the new trilogy. Love the new one. Yeah, right. Like even any of the um you can take like any of the clones and they have like a whole personality. It's crazy. But I don't know if you like the new trilogy but i personally don't it's something <laughs> yeah the first one was pretty okay i don't have too many complaints for it the other two that's where the problems comes in that's where that's where i was like okay maybe maybe i'm just gonna not watch this I don't know what they're doing. I took it as world thing, so it's gonna be slow. Yeah, I see that. I see how it could be like taken as world building, but then it's like all got thrown away in the second movie. <laughs> it's like, oh, all this important stuff we use in the first movie. Oh, I forgot about that. I feel like they should have done it better because it makes sense, but like, they made it seem like she was like a master uh <laughs> she was like she acted they acted like she was a master of the force already and didn't like show any of that character development so i feel like they could have done a better job of that <laughs> yeah i remember <laughs> yeah Cause I don't mind her having force powers cause honestly it just makes sense. She's the brother, I mean sister of Luke. So it's like one sibling has it, it would make sense that the other had it, but it just didn't do it very well. I remember I was uh, watching the third movie just to, cause, just to see how bad it was. Right? That, that, mm-mm. Um, I was watching the third movie and I was just like, no. I remember they got so mad at the fighting choreography because it doesn't make sense at all, some of the stuff. Like, three minutes into the movie, I was like, no, just, no. I didn't even finish that movie. It was like, Yeah, right? Palpatine. They really could have done that a lot better. And then, like at the end where she's like, I'm Ray Skywalker. And I'm like, mm. Mm mm. <laughs> but you know what I love about the, n the newer stuff? The Mandalorian. <laughs> everything so well there are some issues with it but they're not like super major episode issues yeah right it's done so well it's like anything that's new. okay I, I'm, I'm not sure if i get my information right but anything not made by kathleen kendall 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 whatever her last name is um is is good anything not done by her <laughs> lots of lore for the nerds and baby yoda cubes right i that ending for season two that was i the i know a lot of people didn't like the the the, uh, the aging of the face that they thought it was pretty bad but i think i feel like it could be deep <laughs> yeah um 
I feel like it was like forgiven for the most part by the fans just because of how like crazy that moment was and how like I know a lot of fans cried during that moment <laughs> honestly a movie I forgot about that like forgot it was on I know, right? I feel like the next season is definitely gonna be um, Mando like character development and like the other characters developing. I know that the um, okay, I like suck at names. The the buff lady, the one who became a a, a ranger. Her, I feel like. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna. <laughs> That's what gonna have No idea. Oof. Who knows? I feel like it's uh, gonna be character developing for most of them. Oh, and you know what? After finishing Rebels, the whole thing with Ahsoka Tana, uh, Tano, Ta Tana, Tano, Tano, I think. Ahsoka Tano? Yeah, with her. On it, probably. Tano. Okay, yeah, Tano. Um, her, like, asking where Thrawn was made so much... It didn't make so much more sense, but it just made it that next level of epicness, you know? After watching Star Wars Rebels... I know my dad listens to the Thrawn books, and I know a little bit from there whenever he listens to it, but it's like crazy. Whoa! What was that? What button was that? I thought I clicked the eyedropper tool. <laughs> Improved by the other edition. Yeah, I know. She was introduced in the Clone Wars. And then, like, in The Rebels, she was also, inter uh, not introduced, but, like, added on into there. And then just, like, Mandalorian. It was just, like, layers of shows. <laughs> uh, that's not what I want. That. This is the color? Yeah, my color. Excuse me. That looks ugly. Oh, that's the wrong button, I guess. Oh, I did it on the ink layer. Oopsies. No wonder why I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it doing anything? But yeah, I'm only, I'm still in the first season of the Clone Wars, so. Um, I think I'm about to start the second season today. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah. Oops really good how far into it how far into it um yeah season one <laughs> yeah i know it has like seven seasons and good ones i have i'm confused are you talking about like episodes oh really i didn't know that i know my dad was telling me that like some parts of it are slow or some seasons are slower. <laughs> is this relating to the meme that Jar Jar Binks is a, a Sith Lord? I'll be honest, I kind of like that meme. <laughs> I find it funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but 
I find that meme so funny because it's like Yar Jar Binks of all the characters to be a cis lord. Sure, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Um, remember, my dad was asking me, uh, or or was telling me stuff about the pre the prequel movies, and I was like, I'm gonna be honest, I like watched those the, all all three of those movies. I think it was three. Um two times and I cannot tell you much about it. <laughs> it's like my my remember my memory. My memory is just like pow, about that whole thing. But <laughs> that's basically the prequel. Oh yeah. Well I'm talking about the movie. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about uh, the Clone Wars, Wars part. Forgot about that. Um, honestly, I just remember the the weird part where they're trying to explain the Force, but not like explain the Force like of what it does and what it like, not what it is, but like what it is in the sense of like making it science. Like, there's all these nanoparticles and whatever. <laughs> yeah. My, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of, powerhouse of the cell. But, yeah. I remember that part. Oh, by the way. I don't know if you have VR or whatever, but... Have you played, like, the VR Vader Immortal games? Right? Why can't it just be- just be magic? Like, there's all- you can have a system for magic, a magic system, but it's like, um, but it's like, just don't break the rules. Why do you have to explain it so far? You have played it? I play- <laughs> scared the crap out of me, man. They really give a sense of how like scary Vader is because I remember when I started the second game and it was after the title sequence, the um the uh Vader light up his, uh his lightsaber and I got so scared. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Or I'm just like a scaredy cat, but <laughs> I'm both. Yeah, right. Like, I feel like VR games like Beat Saber are easy. I'm like, that's right. But when it starts getting to other territories, <sighs> that's when my anxiety gets crazy. <laughs> it was kind of funny because my dad was in the room with me whenever we were playing VR because I have uh, the Rift S and it's like connected to my computer obviously. Zombie games. Oh man, I can't even, I can't, I don't even know if I can. Um, and he kept on laughing at me. <laughs> oh, you got the Oculus Quest. Yeah, I had the Ocula Oculus Quest 2. I got it for like Christmas. So that was pretty nice. But, um, I have to complain about the Oculus Quest 2 is the stupid like band thing sucks. I have to like, I'm gonna order, I'm not gonna order the Ocu official Oculus one because I heard it's also crappy, but um, I'm gonna find like off-brand one to get to use because like the Rift S I like so much better because it had like a little dial <laughs> and then you had like the strap. Yeah. It's like, for the quest, I don't know how the original quest looks, but 
for the quest too, it's like seeping down <laughs> on your face and you have to like keep it up. Like I remember um, whenever me and my friends were playing on it, <laughs> I'd like hair clip it to their hair <laughs> to make sure it like stayed on while we were playing Beat Saber. And yeah, I have to find some kind of head strap for it. Cause that's just so annoying, but you know, that's okay. It doesn't hurt. Um, because they have long hair, they're girls. Uh, uh, girls can can, um, girls can have short hair too, but they have long hair, so it's not like I just clip it in. <laughs> mhm. Mm it helps when they have long hair. They have super long hair too. But yeah, I ha I played some other games like um, I Expect You to Die, which was a super fun game. <laughs> Scared me towards the end where there was like, uh, towards the end of each mission where it was like um, the time clock and I just failed. <laughs> but it was pretty fun. There's another game I got, what was it called? What was it called? It was like a... Um, I remember the synopsis of the game. It was like about how uh, robots are like taking over in the workforce. I have that game too. That's a fun game um, to play with friends. It's it's like so anxiety driven, but it's so fun. It's like a roller coaster, but VR. <laughs> or not a roller coaster, but Willie. I don't know if you can hear my cat. Oh, oh God, my cat is scratching at my door. I don't know if you can hear him. He's gonna meow at my door. I'm gonna <laughs> meow. <laughs> yeah, my, hold up. Let me just, let me just, give me a minute. I'm back with a cat. What are you meowing at? Here, at least give me some views. Here's Willy. He's my tabby. My, uh, what are you? I'm gonna say yellow tabby. The main house has arrived. That's right. Willy, you're the star. Say some words. He really doesn't like to be held. What? <laughs> okay, you want down? Oh god. Truly inspiring. <laughs> inspirational words. Yes. Very inspirational cat. Especially at night when he's annoying me because there's no food in the food mall. Color was I on? I was on this color. Why have y'all been trying to get? Okay, so I recent. I don't know if you know this YouTuber, but Jazza. I got his like super big box of art supplies, and they've been trying to get into this box that they obviously can't fit into. Especially you, Willie. You're too fat for this. I don't know. How they think they can get into it but they've been trying today they have really been trying <laughs> that's true they really if they can fit they sits <laughs> but they're weird. you're a weird cat you know that right you know what he does too? I'll like pet him. He's on the cat tree. And I'll pet him. And then he'll start attacking me. And then I'm trying to get away because he's attacking me. 
And then he won't let go of my arm. Yeah. And then he'll be like five minutes later, he'll be like super cuddly. Isn't that right, Mr. Willy? These cats. Wait, wait, is it that cat? Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm still surprised at this point, considering I had cats all my life. Mm-hmm. Ain't that the truth. Ooh, rub on the weirdest things, too. Oh, speaking of, I have this, like, cute little, uh, cat screen cleaner. <laughs> like, I'll just wipe my drawing tablet. I need to clean it, but I don't know how to clean it, so... <laughs> I'll find out later. Skin. Let's add a skin tone. Is it literally white? <laughs> yeah, add some warmth to her. Oh, I forgot to turn this off. Meow. Willie sheds so much during the summer. He'll like leave, he'll like, you'll hold him for like five seconds and you're covered in three different layers of cat fur. And it's, and it's the opposite for Lyra, who's my other cat. She'll like, it for her it's during, I swear if you start scratching up the door, she'll like uh, shed a lot during winter and not as much during summer. They really just said switch holes. What are you doing? Shade makes sense, but it makes sense to me. It goes, uh, I don't like that. Oh my goodness, Willie, do you want to be in my hands again? Oh, Willie. <gasps> Meow. Here, no, Willie, Willie. Mew. <laughs> mew mew. Butt is in my face. Are you gonna get onto my desk now? Okay, he's on my desk now. Maybe you hold things. Yeah, you can get comfy there, really. As long as you're not in my way. And it's so funny. Wish is true. <gasps> Willie! I know you want to become an artist. I know that's exactly what you want to become. I'm gonna knock down everything on my desk now. <laughs> you want to take the pen, Willy? I don't know if you can hear him purring, but he's purring lovely. Like a purr machine, yes. He is a purr machine. I know the shading looks weird right now, but trust me, trust in the process. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'll trust in this process. I'm trying something new. You want the pen, Willie?
rubbing his face on it. <laughs> no longer trusting. <laughs> no trusting the brain. Well, actually, if I don't trust it, you probably shouldn't trust it. But you know, it's a process. Oh. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Maybe I should make this brush a little smaller. Have cats? I'm assuming you, you seem to have a cat, or at least know a cat. <laughs> allergies as far as I know. <laughs> They're forced to deal with my cats. Here, you hope to have one one day. That's nice. <laughs> they can visit if they're gonna get allergies. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, cats are awesome. I know that some people hate cats with a passion, but I love my cats. <laughs> and for the most part, they're just nice. They're nice. Um, they're nice to strangers, too. Um, except for the fact that um, they hide when there's somebody new in the house. <laughs> so it's like, like, even my friends who've been coming to my house for a long time, they still hide. Lara still is um, more comfortable with them, but Willie, do don't do that. Don't don't do that. Sit back down. <laughs> Take a seat. No, too adventurous there. And you're gonna hit me in the face. Thanks. No. Don't want the red. I just want to give him a little near me. I'm gonna get my, my drawing tablet. It's fine. No, oh, he's just. I'll pick you up, Willie. I'm not afraid to do so. Oh, up you go. I'm very tolerant of me. I'm very tolerant of him. No, no more. Ah, okay, <laughs> just making sure he's not taking anything down with him. No, they literally test gravity every day. They're just like, oh, okay, now we're doing with the scratching again. Okay. They really just like to test gravity as if they're like scientists. They're like, I wonder what will happen if I knock down my food bowl. Yeah. <laughs> they have to learn, I guess. Actually, no, that's gonna end up being. Excuse me.
But yeah. They also don't understand patience. I'm talking specifically about you. <laughs> Mm, she looks so pale though. Mm. I don't know if I like it, but I'll roll with it. Oh, we gotta do the boots. Mustn't forget the booties. What is that color? That is not the color that I signed up for. remember I wanted to cosplay Mikasa, but I never did. Also, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, probably not, but fun to her. I remember one time I cosplayed Toga and I hated that wig. Not because it felt, well it was uncomfortable, because it was way too small. I didn't realize there were like wig sizes. <sighs> oh god, that just brings back up. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that's for sure. It's for my local, <laughs> yeah, it's for my local um, comic book shop. They had free comic book day. It isn't just my, my uh, shop or my local sh comic book shop, but um, I know that some other people, uh, some other shops around the US do it too. Um, but they were doing a free comic book day and I cosplayed at Toga. And I remember, oh my god, I just remember this. I remember this little girl just ran up to me and like posed with me. And I was like, and her mom came up and she was like, I'm so sorry. And she was like, hey, you should a uh, ask her if she's okay with taking a picture. And, I'll, and, and she asked me, I was like, yeah, it's totally okay. And like, I took a picture and she was like, Harley Quinn's my favorite character. <laughs> Oh, I, I low-key got hurt, but it was a kid, so I was like, I was like, you know what? She gets a little bit of a pass. Oh my god. I totally forgot about that. Oh my Read them. I wasn't about to, like, trash on a kid <laughs> especially since i was actually there with my school because for our robotics team um we were having like a robo fight i know Willie, can you not hey willy okay there we go yeah but yeah we have a robotics team but this year it's kind of dying because we can't like meet up and do robotics And also FIRST, which is what, uh, the program we use, uh, is doing a bunch of virtual stuff, which is great and all, but it's not the same. I remember I cried so hard last year because the day we were going to our competition, which was like two hours away, um, they canceled it. And I was like, bro, you literally just canceled the day we're going because the con competition was the next day and there's people from out of state that were coming. So it was like, bro, seriously? And it was like my first FRC competition too. I was so excited. I was like, yeah. Like, I don't care if they canceled it. I just wanted them to cancel it like couple days before beforehand anime recommendation then oh like about robotics i've seen there's a couple but i'm kind of scared to watch them <laughs> i 
remember there was like this uh, robotics net. Wait, is it that show with the girls transforming transforming into robots? Is it that one? No, okay. <laughs> totally thought that was wrong. Willie, can you not? Because I've seen the one. Is it that? Let's see. Let's take some reading of the synopsis. Oh god, I sent my notifications, okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hold up. Willy! <laughs> Okay. Cat has left the room, so he is okay. And the uh, drawing anime one in the Yes. That sounds interesting. I'll I'll look into it. I have a little bit I have a small manga collection. It's not that small. It's like a shelf in a third ish. I'm a big fan of Jun uh, Junji Ito stuff. But yeah, I'll look into that. That sounds interesting. About drawing anime. That is in fact not the color of what I was drawing. This is in fact the color. It's a bit of a wild ride. How wild is it? That's true. There's some animes that, there's like those wholesome animes, like Cells at Work, that's wholesome. To me it's wholesome at least. <laughs> Just, uh. Or I know there's that anime, I, I kind of like put it on hold, but, oh, what was it called? Kakishi, Kakashi uh, Goto? Two, three, four, six, eight, five, six, seven, eight, 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 um, have you seen the the new season? I um, I watched the first episode, but I think I'm gonna let the season play out, and then I'll just watch it later. And also, same goes for cells that work. Black code, code black, code yeah, code black. Mhm. Mm and then there's also the spinoff series, cells that work, code black. I see that. I wasn't gonna say anything, but it's okay. Sometimes it's just life takes over. Where do you primarily watch your anime? I can give you some recommendations. Or I can try at least. You're gonna be definitely my opinion, but. Crunchyroll. Whoa, okay. Let's not click that link. Anyway, I can like delete it. Can I delete you? No, okay. Anyway, Crunchyroll. Wow, Crunchyroll is a lot. I have Crunchyroll, and that's like where I'm from. It's cheap as chips. Really? I don't know how, how much it is. But Crunchyroll is a good website, in my opinion. It has a lot of- I think it has a lot of anime, not only for English audiences, but for international audiences, because there's like every type of dub on there. There's like Portuguese, Dutch, <laughs> Spanish. It's crazy. 
but yeah. So for Crunchyroll, I don't know if you already watched it, but I think you should watch ReZero. It's a little depressing, but <laughs> um, it's pretty good. It's one of the better isekais in my opinion. Oh my goodness, what else is on Crunchyroll? I wasn't expecting Crunchyroll, I'm gonna be honest, because a lot of people use Netflix or um, Hulu. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really intense. I would say you should watch The God of High School, but I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of a, um, oh, you're in England, you're from England. Ooh, sponsor, I'm just kidding. Who doesn't exist? Oh, Snap, really? That's crazy. I guess Hulu's an American thing. I didn't think about that. I would say to watch The God of High School, but that's like low key. It had a good story, but it was not well done, in my opinion. You should watch Bungo Stray Dogs, too. This right. Yeah basically Bungo Stray Dogs because that one I like it has some slower stuff but and the character development is, isn't as good but I like it <laughs> not like my opinion is like superior or anything <laughs> I just think it's really I, I just have I don't know I just really like it you know there's this like animes where you know it's low-key kind of bad but well I wouldn't say Bungo Stray Dogs is bad but there's like animes such as that. Uh, the Promised Neverland. Mm hmm. Yeah, everybody has their taste. Uh, JoJo, uh, from what I've seen, is pretty good. Really? What do you have? Is it like super underground stuff? JoJo! Yeah. I'm only on episode five. I need to continue watching. Of like the first season. And then I have watched like 19 episodes of Haiku. The Haiku fandom is scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. Like, I heard some spoilers from like... From like the manga that is like, Jesus gets involved. I'm severely confused, but you know what? <laughs> it's like for JoJo spoilers. You don't even know, like, you'll find them out, but you don't even know what's going on. So you don't understand it. It's funny. <laughs> Food Wars, uh, I'm on season three of that. Some advice with JoJo? Um, sure. What kind of advice? I'm scared for that one. Interesting. Okay, let's do highlights now. New layer. We gotta do a new layer. My turn. Highlighter. No, that's a highlights. Oh, excuse me. We'll make this a little brighter. And. Yeah, right? It's so funny. <laughs> you wanna, no matter in what context, unless you read them all, all everything and watched it all in order, it, <laughs> that's like only when it makes sense. And you know it's crazy? After watching like five episodes of JoJo, so many references there was like so many references where I didn't even realize there were references. I thought they were just like jokes people put in. But no, they're like actual <laughs> references. And now I get the joke that is like, is that a JoJo reference? It makes sense now. <laughs> Me too. Right? The English stuff is so weird. <laughs> or it's not weird, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't even know what I'm watching it in right now. I'm not super big on like 
the or sub. I'll just watch it whichever one I like or whichever one I come across. Not sure. Yeah, I think I'm watching it in the Japanese dub. I think it was like the few times when I was on Netflix because in uh, America we have the uh, have some of the JoJo stuff on Netflix. I think it was like whenever I was. I don't know if I like that. Whenever I, um, on Netflix it would have the jo uh, the English dub play, and you know how Netflix has like when you're on something it'll start playing a clip, which by the way is so annoying. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> but you know. That's like a thing. Um, it would play that clip where it was like, it was me. <laughs> I do that with my Korean shows. Oh, uh, you mean like the clips? Or the sub? Never mind, I hate this. Oh, yeah. Where's my eraser? There it is. We'll just pretend like that never happened. Switching from the to sub. Yeah, I did that before too. Um, what show was it that I was watching? I think it was Fairy Tale. Um. When I was watching Fairy Tale, I was switching from dub to sub, partially because um, on Netflix it had like the first two seasons and it was in dub, and then on Hulu it had it in dub and uh, they had it in dub and sub, and I watched like some of them in dub and some of them in sub. <laughs> I don't know why, I just did. I don't know if you're into Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale was like one of the first animes, like super long animes that I watched, and like I have a place in it in my heart. <laughs> it's just, I know it's low key kind of bad. Correct. I watched the two seasons of it. Yeah. It Fairy Tale has a couple of major problems about it. Like none of the characters ever die, and there's no consequences to it. So like, yeah, we'll see them bandaged up, but it's like, there's no major consequences. <laughs> and they'll also repeat this as a charm, but it's a rather shallow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it has that charm, but it's like super shallow at points. And then also, what it really started getting boring was the reuse of, of having this whole cycle of, Oh, they're our enemy. No, they're our friends now. Oh, it's our enemy. They're our friends now. <laughs> you know? That's how it was for me, at least. Frenemies! Yeah. Basically. That's literally how. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that. Is that how it is a lot? Not come on. Is, <laughs> you're gonna have to clue me in here. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah I believe it I feel like One Piece is one of those shows cause there's like different types of shonen anime right there's ones that okay yeah these are definitely targeted to shonen but then you have those where it's like I don't know this is kind of not targeted to shonen Demon Slayer yeah. 
I remember, I don't know if it's true, but I remember I saw this TikTok that was like, the number one thing that, uh, the number one person that kids look up to was Tanjiro. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I feel like I want to say Demon Slayer's overhyped. It's a little overhyped, yeah. Um, for some parts of it, I think it's good, but some people are like putting it too high up. Mhm. Mm it's good. Don't get me wrong, but. But let, I don't think it's that good. It's so hard because I don't think any anime is that good. Or I don't think any anime. There like, are animes where I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. It was. I feel like animes like Full Metal Alchemist is like, I feel like that's worth the hype for the most part because that's honestly just a solid anime that's great and then um yeah it does really depend like for me naruto super overhyped <laughs> i watched naruto and i'm and i have naruto shupin it shoop it in whatever the second one that's true this the second part to naruto um I, I'm like currently watching that, but it's like, yeah, I hate the English dub of that anime. Naruto is so, like the voice of Naruto just ruins everything. <laughs> it's like, it's such a whole moment, such, like an important moment. It's like, yeah, believe it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Too much of that whiny coming through. And then, like, I feel like, why can't I get this side right? I don't like, uh, I don't like it. Redo. Um. Right? You can't have one or the other. They have to be either whiny, or you have to get them to like, they have to be likable, you know? It was so weird because I feel like Naruto is one of those animes that was revolutionary at the time, but nowadays there's so many like stereotypical, like they, they used a bunch of stereotypes in it. Like the emo boy Sasuke <laughs> and the romantic, uh, the, what are they called? Yeah, that's age. I feel like Sword of the Line had the same thing going on until like better animes were made. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I know there's some people who love Sword of the Line. Me personally, hate it. It was one of my first animes and I loved it. But I like step I like tried to rewatch it and I was like, why did I like this? <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, mm-hmm. And what's kind of low-key annoying is that some of the fans don't see that. Like, Kirito is such a solid, like, uh, I mean, not solid, hollow character. That, like, he has no personality. <laughs> Bread is more fa flavorful than he is. And it's like, I don't get it. I'll give it the benefit of having a solid, like, first three-ish episodes. But after that, no. Opening, animation, and solid first episodes. That's what I'll give it. Yeah. It was like, it's all, like, solid ideas. Just not executed very well. <laughs> I heard they're coming out with an anime, 
um, called Sword Art, Sword Art Online Progressive, where it talks about what happened in Sword Line. It shows, like, Kirito's training. But what also I didn't like was that it's not Sword Art Online anymore. It's, like, that that fairy anime, or that, not fairy anime, that fairy game, or GGO. It's not Sword Art Online anymore. It's going into a different game with every with a different crisis. That's just me though. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, dude. And then like, don't even get me started on some of those female characters. Like I know anime has bad female characters, but like these are really bad. <laughs> I shouldn't put too much the light color. Just a sprinkle. Mustn't have too much. I know. And I get that. <laughs> I know. But it's like, I don't know. This they want people to simp for them. It's like also so annoying because they have like it's like each female character gets one episode with them and they're like, I'm in love with you. I'm like, oh girl, I don't, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that. They also reused, um, I can't say what happened in season three. I haven't seen Alakization, probably will never. But um, for the first two seasons, it felt like they kept on reusing this like plot of having uh, a female character get in trouble and Kirito save them. Well, that's just my opinion. Mm, okay, I kind of like that better. Maybe it adds. What's in this? dark side mm, make something mm-hmm it really is it does it's like he like the author is like one of those times where it's like he has no I mean authors never know what they're doing but it's like he had no idea what he was doing <laughs> and it's like, it's not even like the main character is like flavorful. It's not like that type of thing where it's like, I don't know. Or it's not like even the type of thing where it's like a harem where all the female characters have some flavor and the male and the main character doesn't. It's like nobody has flavor except for some of the side characters. I have to say some of the side characters do have flavor, but you know. Everybody else, that's questionable. <laughs> we'll do a little bit there. Yeah. And I think I'll be good. Almost two hours. Wow. Well, that's true. Is it the first? I feel like there was another isekai after that, and before that, though. I guess it's the first major isekai anime. And that's why it's it's, pro it's one of those, like, things where it was, like, revolutionary at the time. Googling it? Okay. I got you. You got me. I don't know if I like the hair, but you know what? We'll roll with it. to the other skin tones or other not skin tones um so three answers oh okay we got answers oh 
Tron as in like the Tron movies like Tron as in like Tron Legacy that kind of Tron or is it like a totally different Tron <laughs> and the Spirited Away I guess Spirited Away is a isekai oh the first <laughs> okay some obscure anime in this I guess Spirited Away is an anime that's interesting I never thought about that I need to watch more Miyazaki films. The only one I've seen is um, Princess Mononoke. And I have My Neighbor Totoro. Like, I have it, like, a physical copy of it, but I haven't watched it yet. <sighs> I need to watch it. And we'll get to the hands up here where we don't talk about them. I've seen none. They're pretty good, in my opinion. <laughs> I I see. I heard that oh, I don't know if y'all have HBO Max, but I know that like HBO Max has like a um has like a deal with them where you can watch the out. I hit my toe on something. Where you can like um watch it on their service and I was like, "Wow. That's weird." <laughs> Especially for like Miyazaki films or whatever they're called. It's like so weird. And it's like, oh God, I don't know if you can hear that, but Studio Ghibli, there you go, that's what they're called. <laughs> Studio Ghibli, they like made a deal with them. I think that's kind of crazy. I was like, oh, we're, we're doing that. But yeah. Mm, yeah. Otherwise, you don't really understand some of it. <laughs> just play it in the background. That's how I was with Demon Slayer. I just let it play in the background and just looked at looked up every once in a while. I don't know about y'all, but Demon Slayer just came to Netflix, and that's unexpected. Oh, well, it's not unexpected, but it's crazy. My friend finally started watching Demon Slayer 2 because of it. Because of it. So let me tell that, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know there's this really good anime called Steingate. I, I watched it, it's really good. But a lot of people drop it because of the slow world building, which I understand, but it's such a great payoff. In my opinion, it's a great payoff, at least. Okay, do I like it so far? Oh yeah, it's so good. I have the light, uh, not the light novel. I have the um, what is it called? Graphic novel? No, not graphic novel. Visual novel. Mm hmm. Don't get me wrong, I like my horror animes, but you know, there's so many where it's like the same. It's like horror animes became uh, what isekai animes are, where they're all like, there's like, they get pumped out so, uh, so much during each season. And then it's like only a couple of them are uh, good, like um, the slime one. Oversaturated. You know, there's another good anime. It's called The Devil is a Part-Timer, and it's so funny. I love that one. It's- I feel like it's so underrated, too. Not- or maybe it's not underrated, and just people don't talk about it that much. <laughs> like, people have seen it. Why? Right? I should have another season. Or maybe it's done. Oh, that's true. Just keep it this nice little season one. <laughs> There's some animes where I'm like, I want another season, I want more content, but I'm scared that's gonna be bad. <laughs> Keep it pure, yeah. It's a really hit or miss with, um, I feel like that, yeah. With how they're done. 
pretty sure those are supposed to be brown, but uh, we're going to pretend like they're not. some cloth shadows. Shadow Ray Legends. God. I don't know how much you're on YouTube, but that game gets so um gets sponsored so much. Yeah, right. Sponsored by Shadow Ray Legends. Wait, is it? It's Raid Shadow Legends. That's what it is. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> With over 500. I know, it's like they all use the same. <laughs> the same lines. <laughs> you know, it's, it doesn't work because, as. If you tell me so many times about this amazing game, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I'm not gonna play. <laughs> Just because it's like I hear it so much, it's like. No. <laughs> And that was also similar to how, um, oh, Andre Shadow Legend started using the, gets sus after, yeah, gets, um, is using the technique, or the, like, uh, advertising techniques that League of Legends used by using animators and being like, do you like games? You know, they started y doing that. That's crazy. Oh god, stop doing that. Thank you. I can burn it up. I'm s you know what's funny? So, um I don't play League of Legends at all. But what I do like is KDA. And if you don't know who KDA is, it's their like virtual pop group band. Which I just I personally like. It's where they sell like skins and whatnot. But, um, yeah, their music's good. And it has, like, no right to be so good. Um, and it's so funny because I'm, so I'm recently painted on a denim jacket. I would show you, but it's, like, in a different room right now. But, um, and I painted, I made a KDA theme. I'm low-key scared to like wear it out in public because there's gonna be some League of Legends fans like, oh, do you even play League of Legends? I'm be like, no. <laughs> like, why do you have a League of Legends themed jacket? And I'm like, I just like KDA, man. <laughs> I'm like, you can't have that. <laughs> be like, just leave me alone. <laughs> I know, right? It's so crazy. You can just watch all the animated videos on their channel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be like, just leave me alone, man. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my food. <laughs> it's like, you can watch all the, like, animated uh, videos on their channel, and it's like, all, um, and you'll just understand everything. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's like, the game, <laughs> from what I've seen, has such, has, like, low quality, um, video animation or not video anim like animation for the characters like they don't look as high quality as they do in the videos <laughs> barum song is that okay i haven't watched all of the videos so i'm not i'm gonna be honest i'm not quite sure what that is <laughs> i'll look it up after the stream but it's like um there's so many videos and i think it's funny so unlike overwatch where they have stories for each character yeah, honestly. It uh League of Legends has stories for each of the skins, which I think is pretty cool. But also that's like a lot of work. <laughs> it is like I remember when KDA first came out with Pop Stars, I kept on getting ads for it. 
and I, I was like, okay, maybe I won't skip this out. I want to see what they look like in-game. And I was like, oh, they kind of they kind of look like trash. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Considering the, <laughs> the animation for the video is like, chef's kiss. Do I like that? No. Hi. Do I like that? So, that question. Oh, that's a very nice question. <laughs> I have this like major problem of starting something, not finishing it, starting other things, not finishing those things, going back to the original thing, binge playing that game or doing whatever, and then um, either finishing it or stopping. I don't know why I do this. It's so annoying. For example, I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the stream, but um, I got into reading lately and reading what's on my bookshelf at least. And I finally finished the Percy Jackson series and I started uh, reading the um, the prequel book series to it. And I'm probably gonna do this with a bunch of other games too. So um, I recently binged played the Rumpa games. I'm on the third one, but I got stuck on a level. So it's like just, once I get stuck on the level, I'll just, like, back away <laughs> for a while. Um, casual games. I can run like, yeah. Um, casual games I play are, like, Overwatch. And I have Rocket League. Sometimes the game just drains you. Yeah, right? Like, you want to continue playing, but it's, like, too much. Um, I have a Rocket League installed, but I played it, I played like an hour of it before. That was mainly because uh, I was practicing or getting used to the controls. What other games do I have? Let me look here real quick. Where is my desktop? Let's see, I have Among Us, obviously. I play that one a lot because my friends can play with me. Uh, Cloud Punk, which I like. I like Cloud Punk. That was a pretty fun game. Uh, did I finish it? No. <laughs> uh, Carton Fall, also a pretty fun game. I have the kindergarten games, but... Indie Hit? The Carton Fall or Cloud Punk? Um, anyway, I... Cloud Punk. It is. It's really fun. Um the kindergarten games but i'm gonna be honest those are low-key boring <laughs> I, they look so much fun they i know about the funny storyline but it's like so boring to play um uh, i installed osu and that was like a thing <laughs> i have the portal games those are fun to play slime ran those i actually finished uh slime rancher which is a game i just casually play sometimes the stanley parable that's fun too i think those are like the main games i have that i play i played something but terrible yes oh my god it is it's like a it's fun as a rhythm game but it's like hurts the wrist okay what color was that on? okay And it's like whole thing. <laughs> um, I think those are like the main games I have. I've played Blair. I like played uh three quarters of Blair Witch, but then like I got stuck on a level. <laughs> I stopped playing. <laughs> it scared me. I can't do horror games. There's so much worse too. 
Oh, and StarCraft. Like, horror games are fun, but it's too much sometimes. It's, it's like, guys, let's chill. StarCraft, yeah, I played. I only got it because one of our teachers, um, one of, our, one of my teachers, um, challenged us. Apparently, he was like a StarCraft coach for like esports so he's apparently like really good at it <laughs> and he was like if you can beat me at, in starcraft uh out of five rounds i'll buy y'all either a xbox the new playstation or a nintendo switch and i was like okay okay and he was like it ends at the uh ends at the um, end of the year for the school year so I was like, okay, okay, I'll take you up on that deal. <laughs> um, have I actually played against him yet? And that deal was made like three months ago? No. <laughs> but yeah, StarCraft was like an oddly fun game. Like I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Because honestly, when I first started playing, I thought it was a first person shooter. Like I was like, I was like in the tutorial and I was like, what is this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it? Yeah. Blizzards is a, a good game. I mean, good. Um, what's it called? Game company. But yeah, I think those are all the main games I have on my thing that I like that I mention. I have my some of my VR games, but I haven't played half of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to think I have a good selection. And that's on my PC. I don't even remember what I have over my PS4. I don't know what I have. What do I have? I don't even know at this point. Oh, yeah. I get that. PlayStation. <laughs> you don't like the PlayStation? You're an uh, Xbox person? I'll take that as yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like both. Um, I feel like with the newest stuff, like the PS5 and um, X, the Xbox X series, the, the big one, I feel like Xbox has to win that one because not only Xbox, is Xbox backward compatible, it's um, faster, I think. Also, I just feel like the PS5 is like just a slightly better PS4. I don't know, that's just how I feel. Also, I heard that the Xbox, the, the X series is like, is back, can play the PS3 games. <laughs> and that's just, I think that's funny. So I'm gonna continue. Mm, yeah. I know that, like, one of the, my other issues is that the, um, the, the game pass for it to play online is, like, $50 a month or something? I don't know if that's true. It's been a while since I talk, uh, learned that, so I don't even know. <sighs> for Xbox? Yeah. Cause I know for PlayStation it's like twenty five dollars a year. We'll just change it to this one. And sixty dollars a year. Well, that's not too bad. Not like like cool. But yeah, that's crazy. I used to have an Xbox. I had the Xbox uh, three sixty connect. It was so fun when I was a kid. I was like, yeah. It's like, my body was the remote control? That's epic. That's how my parents explained it to me. I heard that so many people didn't like it, and I got so hurt because I was like my one of my childhood consoles. I was like, man, I like the good I I remember I got a Star Wars game for, uh... For the Xbox Connect. 
have the knees for physical activity. You didn't have the knees. Your knees like gave up on you. But yeah, it's like for me the um first we had the Wii and we got rid of it for some reason. I don't quite remember. And um then we got the Xbox 360 and my first very first video games that I loved was the um the Skylander games. I had a whole cabinet full of those little figures. That was so much fun when I was a kid. I low key wanna buy the 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 old games now so I can play them. Cause that was such a fun game when I was a kid. And then they just kept on changing it. And now it's like I think now it's like the Imaginators. You had Disney Infinity. I had gotten Disney Infinity, but like, I don't know, I didn't like it as much when I was a kid. That's weird, you know? Mm. Like, theoretically, I should have liked it because it was like Skylanders, but Disney. But I didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. I remember kind of getting excited because I thought it was like, I know it had a sandbox mode and I was like, oh, it's gonna be like Minecraft. <laughs> and um, then I, I found it was like really complicated and I was like, I don't know if I like this. But yeah, those were like some of my first games. Minecraft is the best game. Yeah, that is a fact. That is straight facts because it's like for minecraft some people get bored with it but it's like it's a survival game you're supposed to make whatever you want in it it's your world and i feel like some people who haven't played a sandbox game or didn't grow up, grow up with minecraft um it's hard for them because they're used to having an objective and in Minecraft, there's no objective other- I mean, there's like a couple things you can do, like you can go to the nether and the ender world, but you know, those also take time and I feel like people are- don't have the attention span for that sometimes. But Minecraft is such a great game. That's for serious. That's, yeah, for real. It is so true. And honestly, there's, and then you also have like texture packs, which are so fun to mess with. I have not modded my Minecraft mainly because I don't know how to. I remember I tried to mod it once, but then I was like, that's not gonna work out. <laughs> I just, I didn't work for me. I guess I'll have to look into it again to see if I can mod it. Cause if I can, that would be so fun. It does. I re <laughs> yeah, vanilla is good, like as it is. Minecraft. Yeah, there's like so many websites that are like, get the Minecraft uh mod thing. I remember it was like, what was it Forager's mod that you had to get to download mods or something like that. It's like, get this so you can download other mods. And it's like 50 different viruses. But yeah, I agree. Vanilla is the best. Okay, I'm gonna have to end it out on here because I got things to do and food to eat soon. So <laughs> thank you for coming to my, my stream. I was about to say mod, my stream. <laughs> and yeah thank you for talking to me that was fun i had this is like the first time i had somebody to interact with so yeah <laughs> yeah this is a very interesting mind okay well thank you for coming to the stream and if you want more you should totally like follow oh he did follow yes did I not have the thingy? 
I don't think I have it on here. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for following. I don't- I need to put on the little thingy here where it'll like shout out people who follow. But yeah, thank you. I hope to see you next stream. Bye. <laughs>